the start of a new week. It's not coming home for England, but can Leeds United bring home some faces, some incomings? Please find out today in the latest Leeds United news and rumours. All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Ollie Ward. Welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic Monday and you're ready for the latest Leeds United transfer news and rumours. Before we get into it, as always, be sure to smash that like button. I was complaining last video that we haven't smashed 300 likes. We nearly smashed 700 likes. I mean, you guys are absolutely brilliant. Keep this smile on my face. Let's try and smash. Let's go for 350 likes. I'm not going to push the boat out too much. Also, subscribe if you're new. Look at the top corner. We had 20 subscribers subscribers away from 16,000. Get down there and subscribe. It's free. And today I want you to comment. It's the start of a new week where you're from, and also your favourite Leeds United shirt of all time. Let me know in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get into the latest Leeds United transfer news and rumours. We're going to start off with Jaden Bogle. Obviously, he was the main talking point in our last video. Sheffield United right back. Leeds United need right backs, and he is well on Leeds United's radar. Uh, Leeds United did put a bid in for Jaden Bogle. Apparently, it had been rejected. Leeds United ready to go in again for the 23-year-old right back. Seven million is what Sheffield United are asking for. Personally, I think he's good. 23-year-old right back, rapid, got good experience. He's a, he's a low-end Premier League, high-end championship player. I really like the look of him. I would just spend the seven million personally. Um, like I told you guys in the last video, he's very Max Ahrens-esque. Similar, that's who we wanted back in January, or maybe it was last summer. No, was it last summer when he signed for Bournemouth? Uh, unfortunately, obviously, Max Ahrens hasn't done very well at Bournemouth. Injury crisis, and hopefully went up the same with Bogle, but he plays in a very similar way. If you think about it, Daniel Farkas, Leeds United side next year, are going to just be all out attack. We've got the four front man who just always attack. Midfielders are looking progressive. Uh, the wing backs are going to go forward, Furpo and Bogle. We're literally going to have Pascal and Roden at the back and everyone else gonna, <laughs> everyone else is going to attack, but I'm all for it. Um, the only problem with this transfer so far is that takeover for Sheffield United is taking a bit of time. So it is stalling their sort of transfer outgoings and who's going to stay and things like that. So there might be a delay in this transfer, but similarly, they have just signed or looks like they're going to sign Callum O'Hare from, uh, from Coventry. We'll have a little chat about that later on in the video, but similarly... I don't really know how that's going to work, but Leeds United, if they want to get in Jaden Bogle, which I believe would be a very good signing, they're looking for around £7 million. Would you guys pay for that, or do you think there's better out there? I personally would. I think that's a very good signing. Imagine a back four of Bogle, Roden, Pascal, and Furpo. That is... Is championship winners, I tell you. Uh, next up, we're talking Glenn Kamara. Glenn Kamara will undergo a medical tomorrow. So this is Monday. So Tuesday, the 16th of July, he will be a new Rens player if all medicals go well. 10 million euros is the fee. Obviously, Leeds signed him for 5 million pounds. So eight, uh, 10 million euros into pounds is around 8.4 million pounds. Uh, of course, Leeds United need replacements. I thought Joe Rotha was going to come in, be competition for Glenn Kamara, but it looks like at the moment he's a straight replacement. But Leeds, according to Adam Pope, uh, are still looking at options and definitely will be getting in more midfielders. There is midfielders on their radar. For me, I didn't at first understand this transfer and I'll put this out on Twitter. Follow me. It's underscore Ollie Ward underscore. I know all my latest Legion Island opinions when I'm not doing these videos. And I thought it was a bit out there. I, I didn't know if that was the right call to do, but if we're going to bring in new faces, he's definitely replaceable. I just like Glenn Kamara. I do. Uh, but yeah, it looks like as of tomorrow, he will be a Rens player if all the medical goes well. Good luck to him. I thought he was a good servant for Leeds United and a lot of people were just saying how bad he was and stuff. I, I don't believe that. He had a few off games, but you know, so did half the squad. So I, I think it's harsh to uh, to do that. But we're doubling how much we bought for him. And, you know, there's definitely better out there. So good luck to Glenn Kamara. Next up, we're talking Crescencio Somerville. It's gone very quiet on the Flying Dutchman. But it looks like he will be weighing up his future. I've said this over the last few weeks. Since the, now the Euros has ended, things will start to move. I, I could just see it. Um, but yeah, it looks like he's weighing up his future with Newcastle, uh, Aston Villa and Palace Keen. That's from the mirror. Obviously, we're getting a bit too excited saying, well, Somerville, you know, it's gone a bit quiet around Somerville. 
maybe he's going to stay. And obviously, we'd all like to dream. And he'll only, I don't think he'll push to go out. But if Palace or Newcastle or Villa come in with a big offer, say around 30, 40 million, Leeds United will not turn that down. I, I, they just won't. They'd take it right now. But uh, I think it was, I think it was either Popey, I can't remember who said it on Twitter, but if that bid came in now, Leeds United might accept it. But if, as we get later and later into sort of the transfer window closing and the season starting, I don't know how much they'll accept that because they won't have time to bring faces in. So if bids came in now, I could see Leeds United accepting them personally. But yeah, we'll have to see how that one develops. So uh, because Leeds United are looking at wingers, they are looking at replacements in case Somerville and Nonto and the likes do leave. Next up, we are talking Nonto, but this is from Team Talk. So take it with a pinch of salt, people. Newcastle and Everton are still, well, Everton are still in for Nonto. They are a big admirers of the young Italian winger. Newcastle also in there as well. They like Somerville, like I just uh, spoke about in the last sort of uh, section there. Nonto's another one that we're kind of thinking, okay, maybe he might stay similar to Somerville, but we'll have to see how these two sort of in the next few weeks digress. Who comes in from what bids come in? I think out of Ruta, Somerville and Nonto, Ruta stays. Uh, between Somerville and Nonto, I couldn't tell you if uh, if one of them goes or both of them go. Both of them stay, then happy days. Imagine that next year. If we keep Nonto, Ruta, Somerville, you know, we would storm the league. Uh, you'd like to think. But yeah, it looks like Newcastle and Everton do want Nonto's from Team Talk. Take with a pinch of salt. Next up, we're talking Brendan Aronson. Obviously, he will be returning to Leeds United. In a quote he has been saying, he's been saying the likes of he wants to make the fans proud. He'll do everything to get Leeds back to the Premier League. He wants to show the fans the real him. He thinks his loan move has changed him as a player. And listen, Brendan, we want to see that. We're not trying to, we're going to bring you back and you're a Leeds United player. No one is going to doubt you straight away. We want you to kickstart the season off brilliantly and prove that you're worth the price tag. And I know in football, you know, you're not always going to live up to your price tag. Price tag, you know, does weigh heavy on your shoulders if you are coming in for a big price. But Brendan Aronson didn't do enough with his, with his first stint at Leeds United. So we need him to do something again. I think he could be a very key asset in this Leeds United Daniel Farker side for next season. So, yeah, I like the way he talks. But remember, actions speak loud on the words. So hopefully he will uh, he will continue to perform on the pitch, not just with his mouth. Um, not in that way, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next up, it's kind of a similar story, but Voba, Rasmus and Brendan Aronson will be back today at Thorpe Arch training. Uh, decisions still to be made on Voba and Rasmus, but as the season, you know, as the windows are starting to get closed in the stuff, I could see maybe both uh, players staying. Obviously, we know Brendan Aronson will be in Daniel Farker's plans. Voba and Rasmus, still decisions yet to be made. What would you guys do? Let me know in the comments down below. Like I said earlier in the video, O'Hare to Sheffield United, he was a Leeds United target, but it looks like he is making the move to Sheffield United despite their takeover, despite their money sort of situation at the moment. Um, it looks like Callum O'Hare will go there. I was like, OK, uh, I mean, at the start of the season or the start of the window, sorry, I was saying we need to get in Callum O'Hare. That would be a statement signing. But as the window's going you know, on, he's he failed a medical apparently at Leicester. We don't need another injury crisis player. We've got Brendan. We've got Rutter who can play in that similar position. I don't think we're missing out too much. And Sammy Schmodix at the moment is worth £6 million. Let's go in for that man. And last but not least, we're talking a random one that's been confirmed today is Rangers versus Leeds. It's a surprise pre-season friendly and it's happening tomorrow. It's at Rangers training ground and this hasn't been announced by the club or anything. It's been uh, announced by Rangers, but Leeds United haven't said anything about it. So we'll have to see how that one goes. Leeds United are pitching a, a, an 11 for that game tomorrow. Obviously, I'll be doing the transfer video tomorrow. So I don't know what time they're playing. There's been no real rumors about it at all. Leeds have only announced two friendlies, one happening this Friday against Harrogate. But yeah, Rangers versus Leeds tomorrow will be happening. We'll see how that one goes. And I'll, I'll let you know how it goes in tomorrow's video, or maybe Wednesday's video, if it's later in the day. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the transfer news we've got up today. Just to run for it again, Bogle, 7 million transfer. Kamara will undergo a medical. Somerville liked by a trio of Premier League clubs. Newcastle and Everton want Nonto. Aronson return. He wants to make the fans proud. Uh, Voba, Rasmus and Aronson back in training today. And Rangers versus Leeds, a surprise preseason friendly for tomorrow. Guys, if you do enjoy videos like this, be sure to smash that like button. If you're liking Consistent Ollie Ward, get down there and smash a like. Subscribe if you're new and get your comments in where you're from, your favorite lead shirt, and all the transfer news we've spoke about today. I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Cheery. Oh. <laughs>